There should be brookies in this little lake here. Well, I see them jumping even. A couple of loons out there, so you know there's fish. The road is so grown in, I don't know if anybody even comes here anymore. Hopefully we get a bourbon. Land it with my homemade bed. It's getting hot out here. Broke the tip off my rod. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. There we go. So I found a nice campsite here, a uh, beautiful creek coming into the lake here. This is the same lake I was at in the last video, but it's very big. Like it's 300 miles long. So I really want to catch a burbot and, you know, try to land something with the homemade net that I made. You remember? Uh, that'd be cool. But on these big lakes, it's really difficult to try to find where the fish are sometimes because it's so big. But wish me luck. I'm gonna see, hopefully I can catch something to land in my homemade net. What are you doing, Finn? My old ferro rod came out of retirement, kind of like Mario Lemieux. He's back! Ah, oh, he's the greatest. Are you tired, Ben?
you know, like you barbecue, you cook, say, even on the fire, but if you want charbroiled taste, try cooking a steak on a flat rock like I did there. You're going to be amazed. Like that is how you taste charbroil. It's just unreal. No barbecue sauce, nothing. And you seen how quick it cooked? <laughs> Didn't take long. That is so good. I love cooking on hot rocks. The flavor you get out of uh, cooking a steak on a flat rock is incredible. You've seen the one piece fell apart, stuck to the steak. Not a big deal. Let's try to grease it a bit first. But that is a perfect charbroil. You gotta try it. It's unreal. It's one of my favorite methods of cooking is on a hot rock. Mmm. Sack. Got a piece for you, Ben. What happened? Even fed. 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 Oh, good boy. Gonna set the hammock up, do a little bit of fishing in the morning. Hopefully we get a burbot in the morning. Really, really need one. I mean, I would like to get one and catch something, land it with my homemade net. That's what I'd like to do. Well, I slept in, but it's uh, nice and calm out there, so I think we should get out there as soon as possible. Uh, a little earlier would have been better probably for fishing, but we got to give it a try anyway. Well, I've been out here for a little while. Uh, no bites. I don't know, my fishing hasn't been uh, that successful lately, or I haven't had very good luck fishing, that's for sure. It's got to change eventually, right? Like anything else. So, uh, boy, is it ever nice sitting down by the creek right now. When you get away from the creek, it's like 15 degrees warmer. So it's too hot to be out in the boat. There's no shade. You gotta wait till evening till the sun goes behind the mountain. But boy, sitting by that creek, you can just feel the rush of cool air. It's just beautiful, I'm telling you. This is a great sight. Well, I wanted to get out and do some fishing but it's too rough out there it's breezy enough like for my little boat it's just too rough so we'll see what the morning brings i guess otherwise i'm just gonna cook some chicken thighs that i have and uh sit by the fire maybe the creek it's starting to cool down a bit so that's good but yeah the waves don't look rough from here but when you get out there in the boat i was gonna attempt it they're too big for my little craft Can't see me. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Well, that's it for me. I'm going to bed. Can't even see me.
Little spillage. Never hurt no one. Are you not aware that I get farty and bloated with a foamy latte? Well, we're just not having any luck on this big lake with anything that I'm trying. Uh, there's a smaller lake on the way out of here that maybe I'll put the boat in and try for some brookies because it just doesn't look like we're going to get any of the burbot or the bull trout. So what do you do? I mean, <laughs> the fish are in, in here. I know that. I mean, where are they going to go? But that's the problem with some of these big lakes. If they're not biting, I mean, it's a million square miles to try to figure out where they are. So not literally, but it's just a big area and if you don't know where they are it's tough so we may as well pack up and go to that smaller lake It's easy getting this boat on by yourself and especially when the rope gets caught on something. I do not want to take the boat off again. We got a dock here. There should be brookies in this little lake here. Well, I see them jumping even. They don't look very big though. A couple of loons out there, so you know there's fish. And the loons are hanging around. No chasers. The loons are coming right in. Well, there's a couple other little lakes. I'll try both of them, I guess. Oh, man. I just can't catch nothing this trip. Well, last trip either. So I came to a lake I haven't been to for years and the road is so grown in and so rough I don't know if anybody even comes here anymore. Like it's just unreal. But I'll show you the little lake. And it used to be good brook trout fishing in here. Uh, I'm gonna try for an hour and see. Yeah, I gotta try something. I mean, I hate getting skunked. I'm not having any luck on the big lake. This is not a very big lake. Used to be full of brookies, but like I say, it's been years. I dug a few worms. We'll try for an hour. Wish me luck. I broke the tip off my rod, but you can see the action. So I know the spinner's working. But yeah, I broke the rod. Well, it's getting hot out here, I can tell you that. There's a, well, I mean, no shade on a lake like this, but I keep hoping to catch something this trip, and it's just not working. Mind you, it's the heat of the summer, and the fishing is not usually the best as it is in the heat of the summer, but, and there's a bad time of day, but maybe when I go to the island, Salmon fishing. It's nice to get a salmon. There he goes! Maybe that's the time to start and break this uh, spell of not catching fish here. It's been bad. Okay, I just had a bite, but he took my bait. So, okay, I know there's fish in here, so I'll keep trying. This wind is not helping me because it's hard to get the proper speed. But I've seen the fish come up. <coughs> Choking. 
I seen the fish come up. Um, I'm thinking it's about 12 inch fish, but I mean, hey, it's better than anything that uh, I've caught on the trip so far. So we'll give this another loop here and hope for the best. It was a fish, I seen it. Well, just absolutely no luck. I had two bites. One followed it and that's it. And now nothing for the last hour. So just new luck, man. I'm gonna get it. I came to another lake collecting some worms. I can't just turn it off. I got to catch something with that net. I want to end this video catching something. I really do. So I came to a different lake. So the sun is just about ready to go down. It's kind of in my eyes. But I'm just going to use, hopefully you can see it, a black and pink meps and worms. There's supposed to be bass in here. I'm not sure about that. But um, we'll see. Because actually I came to a lake I've never fished. So wouldn't it be nice if I get to use my homemade net in a spot where I've never fished. That's what I'm hoping for. And there's a horse fly on the camera. Okay, we're just trolling. Um, like I say, there's supposed to be bass. I don't know. But I've never fished it, so it's worth a try. And there's nobody here. Nobody camped. There's like three campsites. Nobody here, but I can see why. There's horse flies, mosquitoes, no seams gnats uh, in hordes <clears throat> I set up the mosquito magnet so 
Hopefully by the time I'm done fishing, I don't have a problem at the camp. <laughs> well, I tell you, I've been out here for a long time and I'm not getting bites, nothing. I'm going to try with maybe with a fly for a little bit, but I don't know how I'm going to go home and tell my family and friends that I can't catch a fish. But I think they're just not hungry. There's so many bugs on the lake here. It's just ridiculous. Uh, they're probably just full and they're just not biting. I see the odd one jumping, but not very many. So I don't know. Um, I'll try a fly, like just for a few minutes, but I want to get the fire going, set the hammock up so I'm safe from the bugs for the night. So I'm on my way to uh, the fourth lake to try to finish this video up, but I uh, saw something I got to show you. These uh, black twin berries. Now they come in red as well. And they always grow in like a pear. Uh, so you get the red and the black twin berries. And they're poisonous. This is why I'm showing you. Because it gives me an opportunity to tell you a funny story. I was out berry picking with someone. And uh, we were picking raspberries and thimbleberries. And, you know, I'm trying to show them uh, berries and this and that. They went their way and I'm picking thimbleberries and raspberries. And they came back with a handful of the twin berries. And they said, oh, these are really good. I said, they're poisonous. You didn't eat any, did you? Just a few. Well, how many did you eat? I says, well, two or three. I said, well, good. You're lucky they're not bane berries. I mean, you're going to be sick. We'll get you to the hospital. But at least these are not super toxic. But I couldn't believe that, that you know, somebody just goes off <laughs> picking any berries and eating them. They taste really good. Doesn't mean they're not poisonous. So we'll keep it in mind. We're out trying this again. I tell you, it'd be nice to just end this video with a catch and cook of a nice rainbow. That's what my hope is. So I guess I can't fish at this end of this lake either. We got a couple of loons that are not very happy that I'm here. I see they have a little chick following them, so we'll just go and leave them alone, I guess. I didn't know why they were squawking so much, but then when they started doing all these uh, antics in the water, then I seen the little chick following the ones, so I'll go to uh, somewhere else. <laughs> No success with the fish, but I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed yourself watching the video. I have to get on with other adventures as well. And we're bound to have success eventually, so don't worry. Hopefully on Vancouver Island. But I do have plans, so keep the bell on. And uh, thanks again.